Hey guys, this is a Volvo VNL or Volvo truck expansion tank. Um, this is a new one for the video. Basics, uh, this is the fill cap, pressure cap, and this is the uh, coolant level sensor. Coolant level, I did a cut out. This is actually one of my tools. And um, if you have an old expansion tank or old truck, you get a bunch of garbage inside the tank and it gets stuck. So when you drain your coolant and you refill it again, and if it still shows that coolant is low, but the tank is full, you're most likely your float is stuck down. You net. Then you need to grab a uh, rubber hammer and just hit it right about this area create a vibration so it comes back up. Um, if it doesn't come up, then you need to replace the tank, unfortunately. Another thing that's very important, um, kind of hard to see in the camera, the one right here is longer than this one. This is the side bolt, goes from here, top one right here. If you misplace them, put the long one, on the top, you're gonna uh, break your coolant expansion tank or radiator. I'm sorry, um, and then that's a, a bad day there. So whenever you take this off, you have keep in mind that you want to separate the bolts. Make sure your top was top side goes on the side. Another thing I want to bring up. Uh, with the pressure cap on being on this side, this side of the tank <clears throat> um, has mostly air unless you have cups or uh, head gaskets leaking or uh, excessive heat that pushes it over. But anyway, the point is if you need to open or add coolant, you want to remove this cap, the pressure cap, off. Uh, when it's hot, I mean, normally you don't do not want to remove the cap when the engine's hot. You gotta wait, but if you have to, you remove the pressure cap off first and slowly, and you release the pressure. If you go this side, you're gonna get a face full of coolant. Not a good thing. We got an old tank. That I cut open to see what's inside, just to know what's inside there. <laughs> so, got a bunch of little pockets. So, so, when you fill it up, it goes into here, goes down over the top here. Looks kind of cool. Flows across and it comes to this side. Right here, at the very, very end, you have a hole going through here, which creates a pocket where it's kind of like an air overflow. And then, I guess when you're filling up the coolant, it goes down to here, more pockets, and coolant level sensors right there. I cut through it because I didn't suppose I'm going to use it. <clears throat> I thought this was pretty cool, pretty interesting. What's inside? Now I think this is the last thing I'm going to bring up on the expansion side, coolant expansion side. Uh, if I don't remember anything else, these plastic lines, they're 15 to 20 bucks. If you're going to replace your tank, uh, do yourself a favor. If your truck is uh, 500,000 miles or more, replace these lines too. Because the, when they get, obviously, from the heat, they heat up and then you move the tank around, they crack. A lot of times, see, it's, it's like this and goes into the top the motor right here it's a breather it's a uh, kind of like a vent or a bleed line for the coolant the air to escape return line um 
when you take it off, you bend it right here and it's going to snap. If it won't snap, it'll crack, then it'll leak. Another thing, uh, when you put these lines on, grab a zip tie and help these clips stay in there because I've had a few times where you put these in and then you jump out from vibration and then you get coolant all over the motor and the truck has to stop and takes the whole Put a zip tie to support this off. You can support the clips so they stay in there.